Hey there, Scratchers! Welcome back! Today we're diving into an exciting project, creating a virtual dog that runs when you click on it. Whether you're new to Scratch or looking to learn something fun, this is a perfect project for you. So, let's get started! First, make sure you're in the Scratch Editor. Start by selecting your dog sprite. You can use the built-in sprites in Scratch, or you can upload your own if you have a specific design in mind. Once you have your sprite, let's move on to the coding. Now, we need to ensure our dog has at least three costumes. One for standing still, and two for running. Time to code! Let's make the dog run when clipped. Here's the step-by-step -step guide. Go to the Events category and drag the When This Sprite Clicked block. From the Looks category, add the Switch Costume to Stand block. This ensures the dog starts in a standing position. From the Control category, drag their Pete 10 block. This will loop the running animation. Inside the loop, add these steps. First, make the dog take a step. From the Motion category, drag the Move 10 Steps block. This makes the dog move forward. Next, switch its appearance to give the illusion of running. From the Looks category, add the Switch costume to run one. This switches the costume to the first running frame. To control the speed of the animation, add a brief pause. From the Control category, drag the Wait 0.5 seconds block. This adds a small delay. Now, repeat the process for the next step. Add another Move 10 Steps block to make the dog continue running forward. Switch to the next running frame by adding the Switch costume to run two blocks. Add another Wait 0.5 Seconds block to keep the animation consistent. Finally, ensure the dog doesn't run off the screen by adding the If on Edge Bounce block from the Motion category. This makes it bounce back if it reaches the edge. To prevent the dog from flipping upside down while bouncing, go to the Motion category and add the Z Rotation style left-right block. Now, let's make things even more exciting by adding a way to feed your dog. First, go to the Sprite Library and select a Food Bowl Sprite, or upload your own if you prefer. Place the bowl somewhere on the screen. Next, we'll program the Food Bowl so that when you click it, the dog moves towards it to eat. Click on the Food Bowl Sprite. From the Events category, drag the When This Sprite Clicked block. Add the Broadcast Eat block from the Events category. This sends a message to the dog sprite. Now let's go back to the dog sprite and add the code to respond to the eat message. From the events category, drag the when I receive eat block. Add the point towards food bowl block from the motion category. This makes the dog face the food bowl. To move the dog closer to the bowl, add the go to X, position Y, position block, and set the coordinates to a spot near the food bowl. From the looks category, add the switch costume to stand block to reset the dog's pose. Add a small delay with the wait 0.5 seconds block. Finally, switch to an eating pose using the switch costume to eat block. Let's test it! When you click the food bowl, the dog moves toward it and starts eating. How cool is that? Follow along and we'll make the dog chase and play with the ball. For that, we need to add the ball sprite. We'll tell the ball to go to a starting position. Then, then when you click it, it should glide smoothly to a new spot, like the ball rolling further away. Here's how we do it. When you click the ball, it will go to its starting position on the stage. After that, it glides to a new position in one second. To let the dog know it's time to play, the ball will send a play message. It's like the ball is saying, hey, I'm ready for you, dog. Now, we have to make the dog respond when the ball sends the play message. Imagine the dog is sitting and waiting for the ball to roll. Once the ball moves, the dog knows it's time to act. Here's what the dog does. When the dog gets the play message, it changes to a running costume. This makes it look like the dog is excited to go after the ball. Then, the dog glides over to the ball. It moves smoothly to the spot where the ball is rolling. After the dog reaches the ball, it will change back to a standing position, like it's done playing for now. Now, the dog is running over to the ball, and when it gets there, it's ready to stand still and wait for the next play. Every pet needs rest, and your virtual dog is no exception. Let's add a way for your dog to take naps. Add a new sprite for a bed, or draw one in the costume editor. Position the bed on the stage. Click on the bed sprite to code it. Add a when this sprite clicked block. Add broadcast a message called sleep. 
Now for the dog sprite. Add a when I receive sleep block. Inside, attach a switch costume to sleeping block to change your dog's appearance. Add a wait three seconds block to let your dog nap. Finally, add a switch costume to normal block to wake your dog up. Click on the bed, your dog will take a short, peaceful nap. Isn't that sweet? Let's make your game more interactive by adding a happiness meter to track how well you're caring for your dog. Create a variable called happiness. This will store the dog's happiness level. Add a set happiness to 100 block under the green flag block in your dog sprite. This sets the starting happiness level to 100. Under the eat and play scripts, add a change happiness by 10 block to include happiness when your dog eats or plays. Decrease happiness, use a forever block with a wait 5 seconds block, and a change happiness by minus 5 block to slowly reduce happiness over time. Now, your dog's happiness level will change based on how much you feed and play with it. Keep your dog happy and it'll thrive! Bye.